Drone Delivery Canada is a really exciting penny stock trading on the OTC market over the counter for around $1.40. Now just for full transparency, I just want to make it clear I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just making this video to kind of outline my thought process and why I invested my own money into it. So you can see here I've invested just under £100, currently bought 92 shares and it's currently down just over 6%. Uh, and now I'm not too worried about that. Obviously stocks go up and down all the time. You can see penny stocks particularly are very volatile. However, if you kind of look at the company and think it's got quite a good business, or you think it's got short term fluctuations or press coming out that can make the price increase, you shouldn't be too worried about short term drops in the price. So before I get into the kind of catalyst on this stock and why I think it's got a lot of potential, I just want to ask if you are new here, please subscribe. And also if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. So jumping straight into it, I want to go over what the actual company is and what they do. Now I know this can be quite boring, you click on the video because you just want to know if I invest a pound today, how is it going to be worth three or four pound in a few months or next year. But however, I think it's very important to know what you're actually investing in and also kind of builds up the foundation of why this company has a lot of potential. So as the name suggests, this company is a drone company. They focus on commercial logistics, business to business, taking goods and shipping them via drones. So this company particularly, they're very highly into technology, disruptive technology, innovative companies. Now they're doing this to minimize shipping times and reducing operational and overhead costs, which is great, it sounds good for the consumer. So if they're saying to a customer, we got, you know, you're transporting goods via this truck or van or lorry, we've got a faster, cheaper, and most likely, it's probably more environmentally friendly as well way to do it. So this being a technology company, very innovative, you, you wanna see what the actual products are, what they're creating, are they patented, are they protected? So I wanna go to the hardware. So they have, currently they have three drones. They have a Sparrow, they have a Robin XL, and they have a Condor. All different types of drones, obviously capable of doing different things. But the biggest selling point I believe with Drone Delivery Canada is their software. So they have a thing called Flight Software, and you can see the description here, it's a cloud-based flight management software that allows for secure autonomous operations monitoring commercial air traffic, blah, 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 weather, other sensor data, all that good stuff. But this is really important, the software, because one, it can be patent protected as well as the hardware, but software is a lot more complex and detailed, and it's a lot harder for companies to copy and adapt in a way that can make it as viable as theirs. So this flight software specifically, it says here, so it can allows the drone to go on predetermined routes without the with the required infrastructure in place. So the drones can operate autonomously with their proprietary, meaning they own the actual software, it's patented, and it monitors all the like variables that can go wrong, like traffic, weather, obstacles, all that good stuff. But it can do it autonomous. And remember when I said at the beginning how they're focused on making quick and cheap low-end companies' overhead costs, or their consumers' overhead costs? This autonomous makes it so much easier to do that. So that's the kind of companies, their products, their software, why it's quite good stuff. But that doesn't explain why they're going to go up in value or why they could go up in value. Now, the key point here is uh, if you ask anyone, a lot of people would say, yeah, sure, the drone, like on a drone market would go up in value, the technology is getting better, they're being more usable. But this is an actual report from Goldman Sachs. So this has given estimates on how the drone market itself can increase. So this is talking how they've predicted like a $100 billion market and then they break it down even more. So they've got the military kind of drone market being the largest, $70 billion. And then they have consumer, commercial, civil. And so this is the kind of area that Canada Delivery Drones operates in. And now just to put it in perspective, so this is Goldman Sachs kind of prediction of a $13 billion market. Drone Delivery Canada, Canada currently only has a market cap of just under 300 million. So you can see there's a lot of room for growth there. And obviously while there's gonna be other competitors in the markets there, when you have proprietary software and hardware, it means you have a unique selling point that gives you a competitive advantage over competitors. So before I go into their competition, people in the same industry, I also wanna go through uh, this as well. This article here kind of just goes through, Dave was named 2021 OTC's top 50. So they was rated one of the best 50 stocks in the over-the-counter market. So it kind of gives you a quite a good indication and makes you feel quite comfortable in this company and you feel they're not just like a pump and dump or a get rich quick kind of scheme, they are actually a viable company. You can see that by their products, their patents, and obviously now this review as well. So now moving on to the actual financials and a bit more detailed company, I wanna go through a few things here on the company Seeking Alpha. So namely, I just wanna show you how they're, in 2020, their short revenue growth here. You can see it's hardly moving, however, you can see how the prediction here, now this is just an estimate for the quarter four of 2020, that's yet to be released. However, you can see just a massive 
increase that this company is predicted to go through. And that's just because of the demand ramping up, not only with the COVID pandemic, but drones in general are being more feasible and used. But the COVID pandemic with social distancing and all that stuff, it just means there's a lot bigger market for them to operate in. So you can see this massive increase here. That's, like I said, as estimated, but it just shows the potential that this company has to grow. Now, this is something I found quite interesting here. These are just some of its peers, competitors that Seeking Alpha has outlined. So you can see here, all of these five companies have a range of different market caps. They range from around higher 400 millions. Takeoff is in the middle or sitting around 300 million. And they have these two lower ones here, CVU and, and Air Indices Group trading around $50 million market cap. So I wanted to look at these competitors and see how they kind of compare to Takeoff Drone Delivery Canada. Now, just a quick highlight, this is Drone Delivery Canada's website. So as you can see, it's very professional, it looks good. You can see, it shows you what their business does, how the drone operates and works. Now, this is Aerospace and Defense's website. You can see here, just straight off the bat, whilst they might even be developing as good products and software and all that stuff, it's not as consumer friendly. If you're working in a commercial kind of industry, you need to have like a better brand image, you need to have a more usable website. And here I think Delivery Drone Canada is a lot better at this. And this is the same for the other competitor that I, they outlined, Air Industries Group. So this is their website as well. You can see it's very, to sum up, it's just not complete. It's not viable yet, really. So this kind of puts into perspective of how kind of far ahead Drone Delivery Canada is in this kind of space at the moment. They are starting to generate revenue and they've got their products out and they're continuing to release more. And whilst they're up and running, it's quite interesting to note, they're board of directors, they have good industry experts. So this kind of article here kind of outlines their expert on the advisory board that was introduced. So this says, and Miss Miller's joins the company board, bringing it a broad global network, know-how experience in mining, oil, gas, infrastructure, transportation, and artificial intelligence. And I think that's the key point here is the artificial intelligence, because that is going to be the selling point. These drones aren't going to be cost effective to use for logistics and transporting goods if they constantly have demand and launched over. So this is a few of the reasons why I think takeoff could really explode. One, I also forgot to mention the actual ticker symbol, takeoff is just awesome for a drone company. But you can see here, whilst it doesn't necessarily have any exact catalyst, as soon as it starts to pick up and starts being more usable, and, and that, as you saw from that quarter four in 2020's estimate, it's starting to pick off. And once it's being used more, people are starting to see it about. It's gonna have more press releases. And this is how penny stocks grow in value or shoot up like drastically. It's from press releases, it's when they gain, start to gain attention and traction, and you want to get in. And whilst it may take longer to get your money back, or 10x or 5x your money, that's where the money is made. You need to get in before that kind of hype happens. And obviously it increases your risk and takes the gamble, but it can have the bigger rewards, which is what you're expecting if you're investing in penny stocks. So just to sum up, I just want to outline that they have proprietary software and hardware. They have good products already out the door. They're starting to generate revenue. They were rated one of the top 50 OTC stocks. They have 10 million on cash, which I know a lot of people look at penny stocks and they kind of see their debt. I think these have around $300,000 worth of debt, but they have 10 million on cash. And that's just not a problem because the debt is not a problem because of the such low interest rates currently. And as you as compared to the competitors, I didn't do it for the higher market cap ones. But I just wanted to show you the ones, the competition where they're trying to catch up and how far behind they are. Drone Delivery Canada is in a really good position for that. Not only this, but they also have the potential to be uplisted to the NASDAQ, which is where all the real money starts flowing in and they get a lot more market volume and the share price will see a drastic increase. So that's why a few kind of catalysts that could happen. Obviously, there's not much going on at the moment other than the company just rolling over and operating as it does. So let me know if you're going to think about investing into this company. Like I said, I've got my own money into it. I think it's quite an interesting one. Whilst it's not that much, be careful penny stocks and don't take too much of a gamble on any of them. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and thanks for watching.